Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta and I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe down below and hit the bell so you're notified every time we upload. We have an empties video for you today. We mm -hmm. haven't filmed one of these in a long time, mm -hmm. so get ready to see a lot of body lotion. <laughs> Okay, so like Carly said, um, well, first of all, if you're new here, um, these videos are so all over the place. We literally have this bin in front of us. We just grab, mm -hmm. quickly talk about it, and move on. So they're really quick, but you guys seem to like them, so we keep doing them. Um, but we were laughing when we started this because we have so many bottles of the gold one Divex in all sizes dry skin relief in have, all sizes I have to have the large size somewhere on here yeah it's got to be in here so we have at least oh, four here's another one okay <laughs> and I also gold one please sponsor us <laughs> I know I'm like I cannot handle this because there's product in here that we just can't get to but and I, I have, have one say, in use in my bathroom right now yeah that's what's crazy so I'm Considering, let me know if you guys would be interested in doing a. Oh my god, a, there's another one! <laughs> <laughs> I can't there's handle so it. So many. Okay, well, Wait. Carly looks for more oh hidden treasures. Oh, um, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well she, well, she looks for more. Um, I am considering doing a Battle of the Diabetic Dry Skin Relief Cream because now this is my second one of the Amazon version, the Sol Solimo. Um, as you can see, so people will talk on Amazon if you've tried to purchase this on there. The pump never works. It arrives broken to you. So it's never going to work. So at first I just tried to do it without the pump, but it's so thick, it's hard to get out. So I literally had to cut the top off to get to the product, but at least I was able to finish it. So... I, I don't like this one as much as the um, Gold Bond one, but I just ordered the Equate version from Walmart. So let me know if you guys would be interested. That could be really lame. I could just do a blog post on it or like a quick review on stories or something. I don't know. But um, we yep. have so many of these, it's embarrassing. The tube is definitely the best way to go, but you run through it so quickly. It's only 4.5 ounces. Yeah. There's actually a larger size that I swear I finished up, but I must have just not put it in this bin. But um, it's like 100 and this is the 18 or 13 ounces and that there's a larger size 18 ounces. Mm -hmm. So in the span of a few months, we literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bottles. Yeah. So many. We have Highly this. embarrassing. But not really, because we truly love this. Yeah. We dedicate ourselves to this body lotion forever and mm -hmm. always. It's so good. Speaking of body lotion, these are some other two that I tried. Don't like, I don't like either of them as much. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, not as much. But not I like as this much. one. I it's... love this one. Um, it was the Dr. Jar Ceramidin Body Lotion. I really liked this for a lighter weight body lotion, because as you know, the Gold Bond is super thick. Um, but this one is more lighter weight, so maybe for the summer it's a better option, but still very moisturizing. But obviously the price is more yeah, um, for 6.76 fluid ounces. But I did really enjoy it. I liked it more than their, like, Ceramine Face Cream. Yeah, me and too. Like, this is my favorite out of, like, that whole line. Me too. Really enjoyed it. Um, and then we have the Extra Care Creamy Petroleum Jelly. Um, this is just another body lotion. Dr. Dre recommends this all the time. I really liked this one a lot, a lot. Um, I would recommend it for the price. It's so affordable. You can get on Amazon. Not as good as the Gold Bond. Still really moisturizing. I just feel like the Gold Bond leaves your skin feeling so supple. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, supple I'm without being greasy Honestly. or without feeling like there's like a wax coating. Yeah. This, since it's like petroleum jelly base, it feels more like there's a coating, but still very like nourishing. But I just, the Gold Bond is... You guys know, we're, we're obsessed with it. I know. So it's hard to be anything, but I wanted to mention those two because I did like them both. Mm -hmm. um, there's another one in here. Did I use this? Maybe this was mine. No, that's not mine. I obviously didn't like it because I didn't even finish it. It's the Gold Bond Strength and Resilience. And I remember I ordered... Oh my gosh, for aging and mature skin. Yeah. I ordered this um, when before the diabetics relief lotion was on Target because for a long time we could only get it in stores. And then like... Then we weren't going to stores, mm -hmm. and so then I had to find an alternative briefly, but then shortly after I bought this and wasn't liking it, they released the diabetic lotion on Target.com, so then we just started ordering it, so then all was right with the world, and I just kind of stopped using this because I didn't really like it. Um, it's nothing compared to the diabetics relief. Yeah. What is? Okay. What I is have, this? I have a face wash. Oh my god. This is so gross, but the Vanna cream. <laughs> <laughs> This is huge. Oh I have like a stuffy nose and I can't even laugh because I can't breathe. <laughs> um, this is the Mana Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. I've repurchased this a million times. I have a new one already in my bathroom that I'm using. Um, I'm 
so sorry. That's so gross. Um, I love this. I can't and use it. It really irritates my skin. It's so weird. Anyone else? Then the Harry's Fig Body Wash. I put this in my Best of Beauty because this is my favorite body wash like of all time. The scent, the formula, the packaging. Love it all. Already repurchased. There's a new one in my shower. I have to get to my beloved cleanser that now I can't get in America. I used to order this on Amazon. Now they don't have it. It's a Spectro cleanser. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, la <laughs> I'm laughing at the hands up. Go ahead. <laughs> for blemish prone skin. You guys, if anyone has a dupe for this, which I doubt you do because this is such a weird, obscure thing to even use. She even asked our chemist at work if he would yeah, make her some. Yeah, I did because the ingredient list is so short, honestly. I could probably order the raw materials and try to make something myself. And I told her that I might do that because it's really the only, so I originally bought this, if you guys watched my perioral dermatitis video, which a lot of you have, the video's been very successful, so thank you for watching, but I really think that this was one of the three things that really cured my perioral, perioral dermatitis, um, and that's why I found it. It was like on a Reddit thread where people said it was just like great for PD, and then since I got over that, I kept using it because it was the only cleanser I've ever used that didn't feel like it tripped my skin. Besides the CeraVe hydrating, but I just hate the texture of yeah, that. It's just too. really gross texture. But even the Vanna Cream, I tried going back to that because it's supposed to be super gentle and great for sensitive skin, but I always get like really dry skin and really irritated. My skin gets red like no matter what cleanser I use. I can't even use cleanser in the morning and then at night it's just like I just try my best and like not rub it in too much. But I miss this so much. I feel like my skin has gotten significantly worse since stopping, like, stopping using this. It's been far more sensitive. So I'm really bummed. If anyone knows where to buy this, it's a Canadian drugstore brand. Like they sell it in like, like yeah, somewhere. like their version of like the drugstore. Um, and it's like a dermatologist brand. So it's a really boring formula, but I just really want to <laughs> figure out a way to buy it. But yeah, the ingredient list is really short. Yeah, so. we have to move on though because there's a lot to go through. Okay, but I don't want to cut you short. If anyone knows, let me know. Yeah. Okay, next up, the hand soap that we keep laughing about. It's the Puracy Natural Liquid Hand Soap Refill in Citrus and Sea Salt. I ordered this on Target. I think it was like $20 and people rave about this Puracy brand because it's like a very natural, clean um, brand. Um, and they have like body wash. They have a few SKUs. But I just was, this is like in the summertime when all of the hand soap smells are like less than perfect. I just don't like mm -hmm. any like floral or fruity scents. So I ordered this, I think either on Amazon or Target. Um, and I was able to fill up my like soap dispenser uh, like four or five times. So it was a really good deal. I but liked it. But where that? That's huge under my sink. Oh my God. I did really like it. I would repurchase. I like the formula, um, but I'm just on my Myers. Like I'm using up the last of... Oh, that like winter scents that they have. I'm gonna miss those, but this is good. Okay, I hope we're still in focus. We've been moving around. Um, you guys know, oh, this is gross. Okay, I didn't get on the couch. I don't know what got on this, um, but I love the Vitamin Code Raw Zinc. I use this, I've used it for like every day for a year. The zinc is so good, not only for your immune system, but for like your skin. It might notice like nail health and like my hair. So I really love this stuff. I continue to repurchase. I apparently only have two bottles in here, but that can't be right because I go through a bottle like a month and I've ordered it like 14 times. But it's great stuff. And then I have a lot of face moisturizers here, so I'll go through them. Um, there this, might be some more in there, who knows. Yeah, this is the Biosense Squalane Plus Omega Repair Cream. And I bought this because I had tried the trial size and I really loved it. But then for some reason when I bought the full size, I felt like it was a really good moisturizer. It didn't break me out, but I just felt like it was a bit heavy for my skin and it wasn't really like doing as much as I anticipated it to. I feel like I see much more of like a benefit from just using squalane oil on top of my moisturizer or like mixing it in. Um, so even though it's a nice moisturizer and I know a lot of people love it, for the price, I just felt like it wasn't um, doing enough for my skin. So I didn't repurchase, but I don't regret buying it. Um, and I feel like I like that brand. They have like, they seem to have really good products. Oh, mine's probably in there of that too. Yeah, so then there's two Naturium moisturizers. So this one is the Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. We both love the texture we on this. We raved about it at the beginning and yeah. then we realized it was breaking us out. Both of us. Like it definitely was way too heavy for our skin, which now um, I'll get to like my favorite moisturizer, but now I just use like really lightweight moisturizers because I realized that my skin just really can't handle anything heavy like in this realm. Um, but it really does have great ingredients. And, and it, it feels so nice. It felt so nice. 
clog supports. Yeah, and then this one from Naturium, I went through two of these, and this is the Niacinamide Gel Cream 5%. And I, at first, again, really liked this, and I felt like the Niacinamide was evening out my skin tone, and it was like looking really nice. And then after like a few months, it started to dry out my skin. And I realized when I would take breaks from using this, my skin would start to look better. And then when I'd use it again, it would somehow like make my skin a little more even because of the niacinamide, but like still make it really dry and like almost flaky. So I think I just have a sensitivity to niacinamide and I can't use it at high concentrations. Um, but I did really like this for a long time. And if you don't have a sensitivity, I think it was really lightweight. Like, again, didn't make me break out because it was a more lightweight texture. But I just wish um, that maybe it had, like, a lower percentage so I could reap the benefits. But it didn't end up working out for me. And then this is my holy grail moisturizer now. It's the Vanna Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer for Sensitive Skin. Um, I went through a whole thing. I'm already on my second tube. I love this stuff. It just really does a great job of moisturizing just enough. I can use it day or night. I can mix it with like an oil at nighttime if I feel like I need to. It doesn't clog my pores at all. It really hydrates. It has hyaluronic acid and ceramides. There's no fragrance at all. It's just really great stuff. It's so good. I love it. Okay, I have some body products, more body products. I apologize. Um, the Josie Marin Whipped Argon Oil. This is like their body butter that they are really well known for. I actually really did love this product, um, even though it was in a jar. Well, actually, I mean, Gold Bond should put theirs in a jar too. Mm -hmm. Really thick, really moisturizing. Again, not as moisturizing as the Gold Bond, but I really did um, enjoy this. This was sent to us, but I um, I don't know if I'd repurchase just because, like I said, the Gold Bond like reigns supreme. For everything but it was really good another one i tried was the vanna cream moisturizing lotion um this is so they have like their moisturizing cream that you can use on the face and that comes in a tub with a pump and that one's better than this i didn't love this i didn't even finish it it's just too lightweight for my skin i felt like it just didn't give me enough moisture of course it's like free of fragrance very good for the skin so i think it didn't do any harm but i just don't think it was as like luxe as i needed it to be so i didn't finish it wouldn't recommend and then i have the bioderma um, i had that too yeah, the Bioderma Ultra Nourishing Shower Oil. I do really love this. I tried another one um, that I found on Amazon that's in like a smaller, I don't know, just another shower oil. I like them the same. They just have different scents. I, I need to find one with a fragrance that I like. Yeah, this I love the formula of this, but yeah. I just never liked the scent. Yeah, I recently bought the Dollar Shave Club Shave Butter, and I've been really loving that. And this just took up too much space in my shower. Yeah. Um, which I wasn't But they have a smaller one. Oh, they do? Yeah, they have a smaller one. We just got the bigger one. Yeah. I really love the formula I like though, it. so I would repurchase and I would recommend. Um, I just wish that they had different scent offerings. And then we have the Method Men Sea and Surf Body Wash. This is so, so good. That might be mine too. I was using that oh, too. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I love this body wash. The Harry's Fig still is my favorite, but I would repurchase this to like switch things up because this Method Men's line has really good scents and the formula is nice. Um, I have a empty Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. They look so disgusting. I already repurchased the um, like the little kit during the holidays that had the travel sizes because I felt like it was a really good deal. So I got those and now I'm using those. Um, oh my god. When those are gone, I'll definitely repurchase because I love Olaplex. Um, so yeah, more empties of these. They last a really long time. They do. I had a shampoo. It just fell down there. Mm -hmm. um, obviously would repurchase. And then I also went through the Pacifica Rosemary Purifying Invigorating Shampoo. Um, this is their version of like a purifying shampoo that's less stripping than something like the Neutrogena that I spoke about recently. I love this. I would repurchase. It lasted me such a long time. I love the scent of it. The rosemary scent is so lovely. And I feel like it really does clean my hair without stripping it. Um, and I actually noticed a difference not having it in my shower. So I would repurchase this definitely. Um, and I would recommend this to everybody. But things are getting gross in here. We both have an empty Olaplex hair oil. I think Britta stopped using this, but I repurchased. I love this stuff. It's so lightweight. Yeah, I love it too. I just switched to the Verst Ghost mm -hmm. Verb Ghost Oil because we used to love that. I want yeah. to revisit it. Um, but yeah, I love this hair oil. Highly recommend. It's really lightweight but really nourishing. It makes your hair really shiny. So I really love it. I have more face moisturizers. I guess one of those, the Verst one might be mine. Maybe not. I got. I went through this one. Okay. Um, the Verse Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. I'm always out of my second tub. Oh no, maybe this is yours. Yeah, that's mine. Okay, well I love that's it. That's okay. Yeah. I love it and I would repurchase it. It's really, really good. It's it doesn't make me break out. My best my favorite moisturizer that comes in a jar. Me too. I actually feel like it's really similar to the Vanna Cream. They both have squalane and they both have like a light texture. They're really nice moisturizers. 
This I used before I picked up the Naturium Gel Cream, the Habo Labo Skin Plumping Gel Cream. And at first I thought I liked the Naturium more. But looking back, I actually really did love this. Um, and I feel like I love the Vanna Cream too much now that I won't go back to this. But it's a really solid moisturizer. Um, if you're looking for something like super simple, has a ton of hyaluronic acid, will plump your skin, not make you break out, this is great. And it's on Amazon. Um, two more facial cleansers that I tried but didn't. Well, this one was better. It's the Kors Greek Yogurt Cleanser. Um, people rave about like this line and it was just a little too stripping for me, but it smells really lovely. This, however, could not get to work for me. It's leaking in the bag uh, because the packaging is faulty and like the it stays open. The cap stays open, which is so weird. Um, this is the Sweet Chef Oat Milk Latte Cleanser. So first of all, m my thought process was like, oh, it's going to have like a coffee smell, which also that's such a good idea for like a facial cleanser, by the way, but it doesn't. The scent is so, so strong and like not something that I want to smell on my face. It's just very almost like floral heavy um and it, this stripped my skin and i thought sweet chef like i haven't really tried a lot of their products but i thought that they were formulated for sensitive skin and this it says gently removes cleanses and removes makeup there's something gentle about this in my opinion it like destroyed my skin so i stopped using it immediately and i couldn't return it um because it leaked so the packaging's cute but it did not work for me at all and then we have a few of these the pharmacy green clean cleansing mm -hmm. bombs we have the cherry one the cherry one is so good yeah, i actually really still is. made it um, love this like we've been using this for years um, we always have them in our empties videos mm -hmm. okay we're getting to the bottom of it we have a bunch of mascaras yeah I have two I think these are both mine yeah two of the wet and wild skinny mascaras I use these on my lower lash line always repurchase I already have a new one two of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise um, this is still my favorite mascara I already have a new one um, one of the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. This is my favorite lash primer. I already have a new one. Um, and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. I do love this one. I would recommend it. Um, I just really love the Essence one. That's my new favorite. But I would repurchase this if I couldn't find the Essence one. I do think it's really good. Okay, then I have the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast. I still really love this. I just have to go through a few more mascaras before I repurchase. But it's a really good like everyday mascara. It makes your lashes look wispy i really like it then the ilia the ilia i was just telling britta i think it's still my favorite like clean mascara and i really want to repurchase it just a little expensive mm -hmm. so that's why i never really repurchase but it's such a good mascara i highly recommend if you don't have a problem spending a little more on a mascara and then the m pick me up i already have a second tube of this i love this it's like my favorite tubing mascara um, I'm wearing it right now. It's really easy to put on and take off. Um, it looks really black. It separates really nicely. It gives me really great length. Not super huge on volume, but good enough. Really love this stuff. This is the Vanna Cream Skin Moisturizing Cream that I talked about just a little bit ago. Um, that it comes in like a tub with a pump, but they also have a tube version, so you can use this on your body or your face. I actually loved this on the face, and I totally forgot until just this moment. It's thicker than like their Vanna Cream, the facial moisturizer Carly yeah. talked about. It's thicker than that, but it still doesn't break me out, and it is really nourishing, so I will re repurchase this. I think it's a really good like nighttime moisturizer. And then this is the Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Balance Moisturizer. This is good. Um, I just don't like it as much as any of the other ones I mentioned. And it is really pricey. So wouldn't repurchase, but it is good. I just, we have so many like drugstore ones that we love now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm actually almost out of my current bottle of this. So it must have been forever since we've done an empties video. This is the Softy Mo Speeding Cleansing Oil. Cleansing oil. This is still my favorite like makeup removing first step oil cleanser. I love the um, green clean cleansing balm. That's like my favorite balm version. But if you want like a quick, easy oil and a pump, I love this stuff. You can get it on Amazon. It doesn't irritate my skin. Sometimes, like I said, when my cleansers are irritating me, I just use this and don't use an actual cleanser as my second step because it doesn't irritate me at all. So that's great. And then I think we both have one of these. Yep. The Kristen S Detangling Tonic. You guys, we love this stuff. It's so good. I can't say enough good things. It works so well. Um, but it doesn't weigh your hair down. It's just so good at detangling. It's amazing. I already repurchased. Yeah, me too. Um, okay, SPF. This is super controversial. This is the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock SPF PA++++. This was my favorite SPF. And then if you guys follow the beauty community, you probably saw that Purito came out. Um, someone had tested their other formula, which is the... What is the other one called? I don't remember. I can't remember what it's called, but it's their um, like chemical formula. 
and they found out that the claim that they were making wasn't accurate. Like, like not even close. Yeah, like it was only coming up as like UV protection of like 20 when they were making like SPF 50 claims. I want to say it was even less than Maybe 20. Maybe it, it was. was bad. And just because like that's so scary as a consumer when you trust brands that they are printing accurate information. Um, I haven't repurchased this and I probably won't um, unless they come out and like really explain themselves, but such a bummer. Um, they did say they were gonna retest this one and the other one um, and then you know, release the results to the community uh, for full transparency. So we'll see what they do, but big bummer because this was my favorite facial SPF. And then I have the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen Face Sheer Tint SPF 30. This one, I will say, I do love it. And it is really hydrating and dewy. And it's really shocking that they can do that with a mineral sunscreen. Because all the other mineral sunscreens I have, I feel like, are pretty matte. And this one is, like, really dewy. Um, I just, I don't prefer as much now because the shade is a little too dark for me. But I do really love this. I would repurchase it just right now in the winter. I'm, like, so pale. This is more for, like, a summer sunscreen for me. Um, and when you want to look a little more dewy, I feel like, in the summer. Um, although it is, like, 80 degrees, over 80 degrees in L.A. today. And it's really making me upset. But anyway, that's aside from the point. Um, this is really good. I just really love the My Shell sunscreen. I know I've spoken about it a million times in the dropper format. I've just been loving that in the Ilia. So I haven't like even thought to repurchase this soon, but I would and I do recommend it. Okay, I only have one thing left and Britta has it too. Mm -hmm. It's the Each and Every Cannabis and Green Tea Aluminum Free Deodorant. We love this one. This is our favorite scent too. It's it's so it does good. not smell like cannabis. No. It just smells fresh and clean. Um, we really love it. I already repurchased I have Me one too. on its way. I'm like dying for it to get here because I'm using one I don't really like in the meantime. Yeah, it's the best deodorant. Okay, I have a few more things I'll go through quickly. The Omika Supernova Blonde Violet Moisture and Shine Cream. I did really like this. Um, I feel like it did add like moisture and shine to my hair. I don't think it counteracted brassiness. Like it had, it's purple and it's supposed to. I don't think it did that. Um, but it is a really good like smoothing cream. I just don't really use smoothing creams anymore. I really just use like a detangler and then I go in with an oil. Um, but I would recommend this if you like smoothing creams. I don't know if I'll repurchase, but it's good. Um, and then this is the Dermalogica Micro Daily Microfoliant. I love this. This I've been using this for years. Um, I'm using the Good Molecules Pineapple like Exfoliant right now as a replacement. I don't like it as much as this one, but this one is so expensive that like hurts to repurchase, but I probably will because I honestly really love this oh, formula. But the Verse, I love the Verse Exfoliant. That's like my go-to. Yeah, but I can only use that one in the shower because it's so messy. Mm -hmm. So this I like that I can use it at my sink. It's like yeah. so easy. And I just use it for so long, creature of habit, so I probably will repurchase. Uh, this is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. You guys know if you use this, they're discontinuing this product or it's already been discontinued. This is the shade MN3. Um, and because it has SPF, it has an expiration date on the bottom. So this one already expired, so I had to get rid of it before I was done with it. Um, I actually have a lot of product left. But my other one doesn't expire until later this year, so I'm going to use it until it expires because this is the best drugstore foundation. I don't know why they got rid of it. I'm hoping they're reformulating for whatever reason. Um, it's fantastic. It's so beautiful. So I would repurchase if I could, but I can't. Um, a few lip products, the Sweet Chef Lip Sleeping Mask. This is really good. Just not my favorite. Probably wouldn't repurchase, even though the price is really good. You can get it at Target um, for the fill size, but I don't know. It wasn't the, the best. The Fresh Sugar Caramel Lip Balm. Love this. I would it's repurchase. So I actually miss it looking at this. I should repurchase today. Mm -hmm. Patrick Ta Brow Wax. I already have a new one. This is amazing. Would repurchase. The Bioderma um, Sensitive Skin... What is this even called? Micellar Water? Yeah. I already have a new one. Would repurchase. I use this mainly oh, for yeah. swatches. And now they sell it in Target. Oh, cool. Yeah. Or on Target, in Target. I saw it online. So that's exciting because we... The last time we bought it in store at Riley Rose, which now I think is closed. Yeah. I think so. Like permanently? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, that's really good. I use it for like taking off swatches or eye makeup if I need to. The Kosa Sport Lip Balm in Baseline. I really, really love this. I just hate the applicator. I hate how thin it is. Um, and I wish it was just in a different format. Like it looks really nice and sleek, but I just don't like this format. So I won't repurchase, but I wish they would repackage it. Because I do really will. like the formula. It's really, really good. And they have that new one that like has added something. Mm. Someone talked about it. I don't know. You guys know probably. It's like a limited edition version of this that looks really nice. Really good lip balm. 
Oh, and then I have this random body wash, Physoderm Anti Blemish Body Wash, oh. salicylic acid. It works. It's like two percent salicylic acid. If you have like body acne, I haven't had any in a while. Knock on wood. Um, I usually get breakouts on my chest really easily and I haven't had any so I won't repurchase until I need to. Okay, thank you guys for making it through this. Hope you liked it. It was kind of like a treasure hunt for us because we haven't done this in months. Yeah. Um, and we'll see you in the next video.